Remember when you were a kid and you'd sit down to watch your favorite TV shows, but then it would be those commercials that repeated themselves all the time and you couldn't skip them? Especially those commercials like Betty Crocker. I'm like, bro, I'm just trying to watch SpongeBob. I'm not trying to watch a Betty Crocker Easy Bacon Fill commercial. Well, nowadays, you don't have to worry about that if you don't want to. Everything's on a streaming service or it's recorded and you can just fast forward through any commercial. But today I thought, hey, let's go ahead and take a trip down memory lane with some of those commercials you used to hate that are now super nostalgic from the 2000s. Introducing the Betty Crocker Bacon Fill, a delight new pan that lets you prepare a cake. Look at the filling to cake ratio on this cake. Look how much filling there is in there. This just doesn't make any sense to me. When you're getting a cake, you could have like layers of frosting in the middle, but space it out evenly. This ratio is way off. Imagine the look on your child's face when you cut into the cake and there's his favorite flavor of ice cream or her favorite gelatin. Like this is crazy. You could put anything in here. There's fruit in this cake. First of all, this kid's favorite flavor of ice cream is mint chocolate chip. Are you crazy? Or her favorite gelatin. This is the one that always grossed me out and I'm sure it's not really gross or anything. It's probably okay. But when I'm eating a cake and there's a gelatin chunk in the middle of it, like the flavor would be okay, but the textures are all off. Both into bake. When they're done, remove the insert, add your filling to the center. Look how much filling has been made and look at her. She's just gonna stuff it. Bowl of strawberry filling. Cavity and cover it with a base. You've already put a bowl of frosting in the middle of your cake and now you're putting more frosting on the top. These are the kind of Desserts you'll find in the finest restaurants, ice cream cakes, Italian filled torts, even baked Alaska. Plus, we'll give you over $5 worth of coupons, good for your favorite General Mills product. No way, you're telling me if I buy all the stuff in this ad, I'll get $5 worth of coupons? Sign me up, let's do this now. This next ad is one of my favorites and I actually had some of these before. It's called Zoo Pals, you might've seen it in the thumbnail, hopefully you recognized what it was. I had some of these and Zoo Pals are so interesting to me because I never think of an animal's face and think, man, I really want to eat off of that animal's face. Hey kids, follow the bouncing plate. Oi, oi, zoo pals. Buzz, buzz, zoo pals. Quack, quack, zoo pals. Zoo pals make eating fun. When you clean your plate, then you see their face. If I ever had a plate with Zoo Pals underneath it, I never thought, oh, let me play with this plate after I'm done. I just threw it away or just gave it to my dad or something. And once you're done eating, the plate's not gonna look brand new. It's gonna have all the gross stuff from what you were eating on it. But kids can lose two and a half months worth of what they learned in school. Don't let them fall behind. Call Sylvan at one. Okay, so these Sylvan commercials used to terrify me. Every time they would come on, I'd be afraid that one of my parents was gonna see it and be like, oh, that's a good idea. We need to send you to Sylvan. 800 Educate. Sylvan builds lasting skills, habits, and attitudes for lifelong success. In just three hours a week, over 12 weeks, you will see results in your child's reading or math performance. You're not gonna get me, Sylvan. You never got me, and you're not gonna get me now. What's squishy, stretchy, and transforms almost anything? <laughs> Flom. Ooh, man, Flom. I used to see this commercial all the time, and this is something I always wanted. I wanted Flom so bad, but I never had Flom. I never had Flom in my house. Flom is fun you can feel. Roll it, mold it, or cover it. That's the way you Flom it. Look, now you can turn anything into a fabulous Flom creation. Transform this wooden fossil into a fierce Flom T-Rex. Turn this ordinary toy car into a Floming fast dragster. Or change this plain dollhouse into a Flomtastic mansion. My big question with Flom though is, is it going to look as good as it does in the commercial when you do it? And the answer to that is usually no. Like you could make a T-Rex a Flom T-Rex or a race car a Flom race car. But then again, why would you want to Flom any of those things? Check it out. Tiny foam microbeads magically stick together and form to any shape you want. Look at how satisfying this looks. She smashes it down. That just looks so satisfying. Take Floam outside and the fun will go on. Floam your bike, a scooter, a skateboard, your shoes. You can Floam literally anything. Floam your mom and dad. Floam your dog. The premise of Floam seems really fun, but I don't really get the use of it. I don't think it's actually as useful as it looks in the commercials. Just ask anyone who Floams, from parents to tots. I haven't heard someone call a kid a tot in so long. No one calls kids tots. With SpaghettiOs pasta, your mouth will really rock. Once you get some lips around us, you know you'll be in trouble. Spaghetti, oh, oh, oh. Where would your mouth dream about? Spaghetti, oh, oh, oh. Take it away. I 
love SpaghettiOs, and this commercial was so cool and targeted towards boys like me who love SpaghettiOs. There's a literal meatball playing the drums here, what's not to like? Your child can visit steamy jungles, grassy plains, and the dark depths of the oceans to meet- Zoo books were like a National Geographic for children, and I had a couple of these when I was younger. They were so good at advertising it in a fun way. And learn surprising facts about the magnificent animals that live there, all through the captivating colorful pages of Zoo books. The publication is specially created for young readers. Each monthly issue of Zoo Books is packed with breathtaking full-color photos and scientifically accurate illustrations. Today, through this exclusive TV offer, you can get 12 fascinating issues of Zoo Books for the special price of $19.95. It was just a really fun way to learn about nature. It would explain things to you in a way that a kid could understand. Pillow pets are cute, huggable pets that pop open into full-size pillows. They're soft, they're cuddly, and they make perfect pillows. I was never really interested in a pillow pet because I really liked the pillows I had already. It wasn't like a pillowcase, so it was like a little bit different for me, and I've never been able to sleep really on a pillow that doesn't have like a pillowcase material. Your kids will absolutely love their pillow pets. I mean, look at this guy. He's thrilled to have his pillow pet. It looks like a turtle. You simply undo the hook and loop strap, and the pet pops open into a full-size pillow. Just fold it up, reattach the hook and loop, and it's back to a cuddly animal. It's fun and easy. Everyone needs a pillow. Why not? have a fun pillow. Everyone needs a pillow. Why not have a fun pillow? Oh geez, pillow pets, I never really thought of it that way. This is more than just another stuffed animal. This is a pillow that your child or grandchild will use every night. It's a pillow that your child will use every night or else. If there's ever a night that your child doesn't use our pillow pet, it has been programmed to hunt them down and kill them. The pet is made of ultra soft, high quality chenille fabric. I don't know how many of you are with me because I might be in the minority on this one, but that material right there makes my skin crawl. I never have liked that soft, soft material. It made my fingers feel really weird. It was just so soft. I didn't like it. I used to see this commercial on any channel I was watching so much. The kid in this commercial, the kid right here, used to annoy the crap out of me. It took me so long to understand what the kid was saying at the end of this commercial. I don't know if I'm dumb or something. Maybe that's part of it. He's clearly saying want some, but in no way was wants or some the words that he said. He said mun some, bun some, run some, none some. Something about that just really gets me going. I do not like that ad. Okay, if you're watching this video, you probably know what a Furby is. We all had a Furby at least once. They're terrifying creatures that haunt you in your dreams. I had a Furby that just in the middle of the night would randomly turn on and start shaking around all the time. I don't go anywhere near a Furby. I don't want anything to do with Furby. I don't know what these Furbies were planning, but something tells me it was world domination. Hey Furby! Yeah? Show me a dance! Hey Furby! Do? Tell me a joke! Knock, knock! Hey Furby! What? Sing me a song. Me, no. Listen. With hey. new Furby. Ooh. Not. You never know what's gonna happen. With Furby, you never know what's gonna happen. One second, he might be telling you a funny joke, and the next second, he might be trying to stab you in the back with a steak knife. But one thing's for sure, Furby will always keep you on your toes. Dessert's so boring, it's left your family snoring? Not anymore. Introducing the original Chocolate Factory, the fun, easy way to turn ordinary into extraordinary dessert. Just place in store-bought chocolate, select your favorite treat, then with adult supervision, simply dip it, dunk it, fill it, or pour it. Look, regular pots burn chocolate but chocolate factory's double boiler is two pans in one the bottom simmers water while the top quickly melts chocolate into a smooth and creamy sensation this betty crocker product was on my tv literally every time there was a commercial break but the funny thing is here instead of buying this betty crocker chocolate melter or whatever couldn't you just like melt chocolate in the microwave <laughs> Need water? Capri Sun Roaring Waters with a roaring flavor of fruit. Get your water in a pouch. Respect the pouch! Respect it! I crush the alien. Well, I crush the director. I crush the tiki. I crush a Danimal's Crush Cup. Huh? Yeah. New Danimal's Crush Cups. You crush it and slurp it. Mmm. 
cool. No spoon? Nope. The animals had these crush cups. It's literally just a yogurt cup that it's advertising for you to just squeeze the yogurt out of it. It's literally the same thing as a regular yogurt cup, except this time it wants you to squeeze the yogurt out of it instead of using a spoon. Can you use a spoon? Yes. Does the animals want you to use a spoon? Not in this commercial. This is another one I've seen a lot. Welcome back. Say that 10 times fast. Kid cuisine, kid cuisine, kid cuisine, kid cuisine, kid cuisine, kid cuisine. It doesn't work. I used to eat so many kid cuisines. It's absolutely insane. Going with my kid cuisine all-star chicken nuggets meal. Made with white meat. For a taste that can't be beat. And my mac and cheese is out of here. Meal time is fun time. That commercial is not very exciting, but for some reason it worked for my parents and they bought me so many kid cuisine. Now, of course, if we're talking about nostalgic 2000s commercials, there has to be at least one Billy Mays commercial, right? Hi, Billy Mays here for Mighty Putty. The easy way to fix, fill and seal virtually anything fast and make it last. Mighty Putty is not a glue but a super powered epoxy that you can mold to any shape and apply directly to most any surface for an everlasting bond. I'm not gonna say that when his commercials came on that I was interested as a kid, but looking back on it now, this guy was a legend. He was in all these commercials and we all know who he is. Rebuild the damage tool to work like new or make car repairs and save money. This Mighty Putty commercial is reminding me of another commercial similar to it. You know that Phil Swift flex tape commercial that says it can do anything, even car repair? Now, if I'm in need of a car repair, Am I gonna go to an auto body shop or am I gonna go to a mechanic or someone who can actually fix the problem or am I gonna slap a little piece of Mighty Putty on there? I don't know, pretty tempting offer. We'll double it and send you two more sticks free. Mighty Putty will pay for itself the very first time, but I'm not done yet. Call right now and I'll triple the offer. He literally just said he would double our offer and then 10 seconds later said he would triple our offer. That's how many tubes of Mighty Putty? Send you six sticks of Mighty Putty. That's six sticks of Mighty Putty. New pets. Ch -ch -ch Chia. Chia pets, the pottery that grows. And now Chia Garfield. Did you guys ever have a Chia pet? I never had a Chia pet, but man, I saw these commercials all the time and the Chia pets were like really weird to me. Like why would you want Scooby-Doo to get an afro? It's like a plant afro. I didn't really ever understand the value of a chia pet. They're, they don't make much sense to me. It's fun. Soak your chia, spread the seeds, and watch it grow. Ch -ch -ch -chia. Yay, I can dip something in water and then let it grow into a plant. Gee, that sounds exciting for children. I know we have Nerf guns and we have all these fun other toys for children, but you know what children really have been wanting this whole time? They've been wanting a handmade decorative planter. That's the gift that keeps on giving the whole year. I could be outside having fun with my friends, but I'm inside staring at my chia pet grow slowly. These are all some of the most nostalgic commercials I could think of. If there's any others that you guys think of, be sure to leave them down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then there's a video at the bottom of your screen that you may enjoy as well right here. I don't really have anything else to say today, so I really hope you enjoyed going through these 2000s commercials with me. This is Ryan Askew reminding you to stay askew because being normal is weird and being weird is pretty cool. See you in a few days with my next video. Until then, all I have to say is bye-bye.